Good evening. Tonight's daily devotional is coming from Psalm 37, verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. It's scary to watch evil prosper in the world today. Especially the world we're living in today. We see it all around us. Often we watch world events and we feel overwhelmed. And powerless. Because there's nothing we can do. Jesus is about to return. And God has a big neon sign in the world. And not many people are paying attention to it. We are blessed that we have the discernment to see the sign of the times. We're blessed that we see Jesus is about to return and that we have repented and given our life to Jesus. Because, um, you know, we can feel overwhelmed and powerless because really, I mean, all we can do is keep planting seeds, you know, and pray. But there is something we can do. We can pray to our Father and find rest and comfort in the knowledge that all things occur and everything that's happening right now in the world occur as part of his plan. He is actively abolishing evil in the world. That's why all of this is happening. Let us rest our worried minds in the comfort of his mighty hands. Dear Father, we feel powerless against the evil in the world today. Help us rest in the comfort of your loving arms. We have faith in your plan. In Jesus' name, amen. Everything that's happening around the world is part of God's plan. We could go home any time now. Could the rapture happen this year? Yes. Could it happen next year? Yes. We don't know. I'm not going to say for sure the rapture is happening this year. It could. But we have to remember, when we see evil prosper, this is all the riches they will ever get. Remember, they're not a threat to Satan. They may not be too much of a threat to Satan. We are. You know you're going down the right path when Satan starts to attack you. But he has no power, no authority over us whatsoever. Everything that I'm going through, I laugh. I'm like, all you're doing, Satan, is making it clear that I'm pushing your buttons. And I will never lose my faith and trust in my Heavenly Father and Jesus, my Savior. Ain't gonna happen, man. I will not lose my faith. So sometimes... You know, when we see, when you see people that don't seem to want to have a relationship with Jesus. And again, we don't know what somebody's going through behind closed doors, you know. But say if somebody that says, let, let, an example, say if there's uh, somebody that you've tried to witness to, you've planted seeds and they just don't seem to want to budge, you know. Well, we planted the seeds. We keep praying for them. But then maybe you see them, okay, well, they they have the new cars, and they have the houses, and they have the trips, and that, and that, you know. Well, that's not being blessed. That's not being blessed. If they don't repent and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, that's all the riches they'll ever get. Eternity is forever. And heaven and hell are real places. Anybody that goes to hell, they can't say, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I'll let you out. No, eternity, never ending. We pray for this wicked world and we pray that more people repent and give their life to Jesus. Because we're on a, we're, we are on borrowed time. Think about everything you've gone through in your life. Sometimes we don't understand why we go through the things we do, but we never lose faith. Look at what Jesus went through for us. Man. He suffered tremendously so we could go to heaven. He who believeth in me will not perish, but have everlasting life. We put our faith and trust in God, our Savior Jesus. And we have so much to look forward to, and it's very soon. 
we don't have any control over what's happening in the world. God is in control. But rest assured that he is actively abolishing evil in this world. And the Holy Spirit's always by our side. You will get through. And we are going home. Good night. God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon.